Hi, Shell Sullivan here. Welcome back to my channel. What was that? That, my friend, is gun cotton. <laughs> you might have seen some of my videos. I've been making some homemade rockets with some um, potassium nitrate sugar sugar rockets. And I've made some, some homemade fireworks. I've made some homemade gunpowder. Well, gun cotton was the next logical step. So I made about nine grams of gun cotton. It's very easy to make. 100% cotton balls. Be sure that it's real cotton. Um, you need a nitrating agent. I don't have um, nitric acid, um, though that that can be purchased and you can make it at home. Uh, but I use this um, stump remover, which is potassium nitrate, which is the same ingredient I use for my gunpowder and for my sugar rockets. Uh, this particular um, the stump remover is almost 99% pure potassium nitrate, so it's a great nitrating agent. And you need your third ingredient is going to be sulfuric acid. Um, also found in um, you know, both of these products can be found at your local hardware store. Um, potassium nitrate in the stump remover, relatively pure and high concentration sulfuric acid, both found at your local hardware stores. Um, the acid is very strong. Of course, if you're gonna if you're gonna do this, you're gonna need to uh, understand acids and the safety precautions necessary. We'll go into that in another video because I'm gonna show you how how I make it with this um, relatively cheap, inexpensive, homemade, and very powerful formula. Um, I mean, this this is this is very fast burning. It's very powerful. The um, the the gun cotton is. Um, indistinguishable from regular cotton pretty much it smells it feels just like regular cotton um, except for when it comes in contact with flame it burns probably a thousand times faster than regular cotton does so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna in fact it burns so fast that it doesn't have time to actually burn your hands so if I make sure this is nice and fluffed up I don't want any chunks It'll burn so fast that you can burn it right in your hand without actually injuring yourself. I hope. Okay, here we go. Woo! Now, that heated up my hand quite a bit, but not enough to burn. It leaves a slight sticky residue behind. It just burns so fast that it just really doesn't have time to, um, to heat your skin up enough to cause a burn. It does need to be like nice and make sure it's nice and fluffed up so it can all burn fast. If there's a little chunk, sometimes it'll leave a little chunky part in your hand. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. But anyway, I'm I'm probably gonna like um I'm gonna think about making a potato cannon with it. Um maybe maybe a potassium um, uh, maybe a gun cotton type of rocket. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it burns so fast that if it's um, uh, you know, when you burn this in an atmosphere, the gases expand and have room to move. But if you put this stuff under compression, it is way, way more powerful than gunpowder. It's an it's a, it's classified as a high explosive. It, it burns so fast and it releases so much gas in such a short amount of time that under compression it creates a much much more violent and powerful explosion than um, than gunpowder or my sugar rocket formula for that matter much weaker so um so i'm not sure how i'm going to make a rocket out of it um, but it sure does make um it's a lot of fun because you can burn it indoors it doesn't release any smoke and just you know tiny little bit of smoke tiny bits of ash um, lots of fun There'll be a tutorial video coming up soon showing you how I made it. Um, but if you thought that was interesting and you like it, click like. If you think a friend might like to see, see the video, please share it. If you want to see more, um, subscribe. And if you got something to say, say it in the comments below. Thanks for watching.